I'm here with my friend Mike. Would you like to introduce yourself? No. We've been friends since 2012. It's about 11 years. <laughs> How has your street photography changed from 10 years ago? Oh man, definitely a lot more selective now these days. I'm more mindful, like respecting uh, the subject matter as well. You know, for example, I try not to like take pictures of children. Have you had confrontation with anybody who's like, don't take my picture? Honestly, I have not. How do I say it? Like Negative. antagonizing me or anything like that. Like the times that people have come to me came from a sense of like curiosity of what I was doing. I mean, there have been part times where like take a picture of someone, they kind of like glare at me, but like I sort of like just like go on my way. To head, like, never really like follow me like i've been for i've been fortunate that yeah in like the 10 plus years i've been doing this it's like hasn't happened yeah, yeah. so i want to know because like as city dwellers we walk really fast and i wonder when you are taking photos do you slow down your pace does your pace change I when you are when you're like i still i still photos? think as quick but once i'm in that sort of like environment where something may happen then yeah i definitely would slow down physically so, yeah, but I still be think I still be like thinking on my mind, like you know, mm -hmm. what's the opportunity to try to like think, of, try to think like five steps ahead before you even think about pressing yeah. the header. You were talking about how you react quicker when you are maybe taking photos at a longer focal length. <laughs> Talk me through that again, because you said that you're not necessarily anticipating your subject when you have a longer focal length. You're just faster at taking the picture so it doesn't matter if i'm shooting like 35 mil 50 mil or 85 mil how high and how i anticipate potential moments coming my way is still it's still the same it's just a case of like pressing the shutter one or two seconds faster do you have a lot of moments when you feel so disappointed or when you miss a shot or huh? do you get over that really quickly do you I, sometimes never get over it i get over it uh Nothing is guaranteed. That's something I came to accept very early on with street photography because everything happened so quick. You know, I'd be very happy with like a 10% success rate. Yeah. And then, you know, there'll be days where you have nothing at all. You know, that's, perf that's perfectly fine. That's why it's like, I always treat the approach of like, just walking around the city to be like the main thing I like to do. And the picture taking is the bonus. So you're not so hard on yourself. Yeah. Right. It's like, hey, you didn't take, you know, you didn't find any keepers, but hey, you still got to go outside and walk around for a bit, right? That's a good approach. That's a good attitude to have, I think, like, because if you're always holding on to the fact that you missed off on something, you're not, you're going to be hung up on that and you're not going to be focusing on what you knew could be out there. Yeah. In that moment that you're feeling disappointed, you're already distracted from the next potential opportunity that comes in your way like come like split seconds after so how has street photography influenced or shaped other parts of your life oh boy that's tough how has street photography made you better in another in other ways empathy in others definitely like see, seeing from my point of view of like what other people are dealing with you sort of have a small glimpse of, of the other person that you're taking a picture of like sort of like their lives so i know that so, for some of us we can be trapped in our own little world he is a proud owner of uh, fujifilm x pro 3 that's the only reason why i'm friends with him um so tell me about your x pro 3 how long have you had it when did you get it how did you get it where did you buy it Two years ago, Facebook Marketplace. Tell me about the seller. Uh, he is a wedding photographer. He mostly shoots Canon, but he had this as a, a toy, fun toy to shoot around with. And he wants to sell it to buy an RV. Did but he sell it with a lens? With the two lenses, okay. the, the 23 and the 35, both F2. Okay. It's funny cause, because it was like around what, 3,000? And he was okay with me like e-transferring it, but oh, each good. yeah. So like I e-transferred because it's like large sum of money. It took time for the oh. thing 
to trans so you're to, just awkwardly standing there i i was yeah i was just chilling with them and like after half an hour it finally it finally went through it was like you know so i'm curious yeah. at that point like were you nervous about whether it may be a lemon that's a lot of money for something that's used that you there's probably no refund policy before I met him, I knew he like he mentioned that he did like wedding photography and whatnot, and like I saw his portfolio and whatnot, and like you know it was pretty good. So I was like, considering that like, he was like fellow photographer, like he knows his stuff, like uh, I had confidence that like he would take care of his equipment pretty well. At the time he was selling it, it only had like two thousand actuations in the shutter. So it's been two years. How do you feel about it today? In terms of like handling it, definitely like helps a lot as a street photographer. Yeah. Everything is light. And, you know, be like, be yeah. more focused with like taking photos. So the back screen doesn't work anymore, right? Uh, it does kind of work, but you have to like open it up to a certain point. You don't want to like stretch it out too much or else the screen goes black. Like, I was, you know, I, but everything else works fine. Like using the viewfinder, the electronic viewfinder, perfectly fine as well. Right. So, do you have any um, desire to? collect more Fuji lenses or Fuji bodies? Yeah, there's like a lens. I, I, know, I, I know what you're thinking. Uh, <laughs> format? No, no, no. Like there's like, well, maybe like one or two lenses that would be nice to have and whatnot. But for me, I'm past the whole, at least for now, gear acquisition syndrome. But like if I wanted to get another body, it would probably be something around this size, especially as a street photographer. Like, well, thank you very much. Like, is there anything you'd like to say before we end this vlog? I'm just a guy. <laughs> With a Fuji. Yes. X Pro 3. Thank you so much for watching that, mm -hmm. and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> okay. Mike here knows every single bus row on TTC. 23. I want to say that's Dawes. Okay, 24. Victoria Park. 39. Finch, Finch East. 53. Deals East. 6. It used to be Bay, but it doesn't exist anymore. Okay, 17. Uh, I want to say Birch Mount. 43. Kennedy. 61. Does that exist? Leslie. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. No, 12. I want to say Bayview, but I don't think it is. Eleven. That might be Bayview, actually. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Thirty-two. Lawrence West. Okay. Forty-six. Martin Grove. Fifty-two. No, I don't think it's Lee's side. I don't think so. It's forty-nine. Is this? It might be Junction.